This is my 79 F350. I guess I'll show you around, give you the backstory on it. So this truck was a 200 truck, and my friend's grandfather owned the truck, and he didn't want anything to do with it. He just didn't use it anymore. So that's how I ended up getting it. It's an F350 Custom. It's nothing special. It's a dump truck. Well. I guess it is kind of special because you don't see too many F-350s around where I live. But here's the best part. 47,111 original miles. I paid 1200 for it. This is the original brake controller from God knows how long ago. That's what he said. He said it came with the truck just like that. And it still works. Oil pressure gauge. None of the gauges work because whoever had it before was rewiring stuff and didn't really know what they were doing. The horse down here. <laughs> It works, but it's four speed. It's got the dump box. It's two wheel drive, but it's a heavy ass truck, so it should do just fine in the snow. It's got the West Coast mirrors on it, which this kind of sucks. I tripped yesterday working on it, broke the mirror right off because it's all rotted out. That pissed me off pretty good. Took the headlights out of it. It's all getting redone. Here's a good one. This is a good mirror. It's not rotted out, so I'm gonna keep that one. Started putting in all the lights, I just gotta screw them down, test them all, and then I'll put heat shrink over them, all that good stuff. It's a good truck. Um, frame's all scaly, but there's no spots where it rots through. It's all completely solid. There's really nothing wrong at all with the truck. Even the air conditioning still works, but it just smells horrible. Mike's got it in this truck from it sitting so long, it just smells bad. Got the 390 V8, four barrel Holly carb. Nothing special done to it. It needs exhaust gas, manifold gas hits on this side. The brakes work, but some tar try to look like they're trying to make fucking spaghetti in under there out of freaking brake line and they kinked one of the one of the brand new brake lines and it cracked and busted open so I got no rear brakes only the front brakes work uh, it's an F350 so you yeah, obviously got the cab lights and all that side marker lights um, this right here if you lift this up push that down it would open these latches on the back of the tailgate so the tailgate would swing open with the dump but um whoever had this before decided they didn't want that so they welded it so I gotta cut that off it's an eight foot bed with the tailgate folded down it's like ten foot and a half or something like that but the tailgate's almost two feet tall I'll show you guys how the dump works this is a PTO dump so it runs off the transmission so you gotta be in neutral you push the clutch in this is your PTO so you yank this back now that meets the uh, the pump with the transmission and you, this lever, pull it back, is going to be up. So you give it some RPMs. You let out the clutch. Just going to push the PTO back out. Because we don't need that running. And uh, my, my shaft on my PTO is a little screwy. The, uh, the bearing, the hanger bearing in the center is completely wore out, so this shaft flops around everywhere. It's a big single stage ram. Opens that up, it's like a scissor style. Um, it needs some hydraulic fluid because you, as you can see, it's, it's not going up to its full potential. But like you see under the bed, it's all solid. Nothing's really rotted out. I mean, there's these little flat pieces of steel here, but that's nothing. Nothing bad, nothing to worry about. I was going to do some gasket work in the pump there. Original muffler, original drive shaft, everything's tight. It's a Dana 70 rear end. It leaks a little bit, but uh, it's not a bad truck. Frame dump, just the frame, it's all solid. It was a great find. Um, it does need work. My plans in the future, I want it painted red back to its original color. I want a diesel engine in it. I'm thinking I want to do a cat, cat diesel. Everyone puts a Cummins in these and that's 
I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of the Cummins. It's a good engine, but I just don't want it. It's not something I'm interested in. Yeah, you can see it's a big box. It's a nice truck. So when you want to put the dump down, you throw this lever forward. This is your hydraulics again. And another cool thing that I forgot to mention is when you have the PTO going, there's a spring down there. I don't know if this, I think it's my parking brake. Yeah, that's my parking brake. There's a cable running along in here. So when it reaches the top, it pulls the stick ever so slightly forward so it doesn't keep raising the dump. This is such a big cylinder. You got such a big engine. This engine makes low 300s or high 200s for horsepower. And you'll blow the seals right out of that ram. So that's a cool feature. Push that forward, the dump goes down. Everything works in here, it's pretty cool. I mean, I got no radio, I only get one station on it for some reason. You're gonna, you're gonna hear the, uh, the air conditioning, it sounds horrible, but it works. Well, actually it wasn't bad. It does run, it does blow hot air, but there's probably a bunch of mouse shit in there. It smells awful, absolutely horrible. Um, there is a lot of, it's it's not so much mechanical work that has to be done to it, it's more like electrical and cosmetic. But, uh, that's, that's, that's pretty much the main reason why I bought the truck, is I need a truck to work with, I need a truck that will get me places, I need a truck that's easy to work on, easy to use, and this is what it was, it's a work truck. You can see it came with the uh, little plow package, the bumper's out a couple inches, so you can run the plow, but eventually that's what I'm going to get. There's a guy that lives near me, he's got a fisher set up. So might get a seven or eight foot blade for it. A lot of people say you can't plow with two wheel drive trucks in the northeast, but you definitely can. Especially a truck this heavy. Hell, most of the trucks the state has are two wheel drive. Well, Alright guys, that's my short video on this F-350. Hope you guys like it. Um, Hit the like button, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. I don't really care. I just make these videos for fun. Because that's all it is, is fun. Uh, there's going to be a lot more videos coming ahead and working on it. Might even work on it tonight, do those exhaust manifold gaskets. Um, then I'm going to get some lights today for it. All the lights are burnt out on the cab and everything. Alright, see you guys later.